All right, I got a few uh, Bernie updates for you. So uh, one, they had um, the Democrats are, uh, the two campaigns are meeting, or their surrogates are meeting, and they're trying to discuss the platform. And so Bernie's obviously pushing to say, hey, you know what, uh, looks like Hillary's the nominee. That's been made uh, widely discussed in the media. They're like, Bernie said, looks like she's going to be the nominee. And then Bernie said he'll vote for her in November. That was a big one uh, yesterday. It was all over Facebook. Um, but the, in these platform meetings, they're basically saying, okay, if Hillary's going to be the nominee, let's make $15 uh, minimum wage, you know, and the Democrats voted it down. All Hillary people voted it down. Well, of course, Bernie people voted for it. And then they did this over and over with several different uh, key issues. One being the TPP, which Donald Trump has been beating Hillary over the head with. And kind of rightfully so. Like, if she thinks she's going to win swing states with the TPP, which has taken a bunch of manufacturing jobs and sent them, sent them in Mexico and China, she's, she's a little crazy. So uh, that, was, that was kind of interesting. I, I, I was a little surprised um, that they were that bold. But they're now on paper. They're like, we're against the TPP, which is a little funny because Hillary said, well, it doesn't meet my gold standard. Well, apparently it meets their gold standard. Her so meets her surrogate's gold standard. So go figure. Um, the other one we got, uh, the Dalai Lama. Yeah, him praised Vladimir Putin. Putin? Uh, yeah, that Vladimir. Um, uh, for his work on fighting ISIS and blamed the U.S. government for ISIS's creation. This is not some dude saying that. I mean, this is the freaking Dalai Lama. So um, probably not something that Hillary will be too proud of and will not, uh, since she's kind of for that whole uh, intervention. Um, so let's see, the, um, the other conspiracy theory that's going around is apparently some UN president, let me get his actual name, this guy, um, died from a barbell accident the day before he was set to testify against Hillary. And this guy's no saint, by the way. He apparently was already under an indictment himself, but apparently he had something to say about Hillary. And uh, now he will not be saying it. But, you know, maybe it wasn't Hillary that had him killed, and maybe it's some other one else. If you're under indictment, you probably got some other enemies. So where that leaves us, uh, conspiracy theory aside, is that, Bernie basically said, hey, we're going to take our platform to the convention. And if the Democrats are going to be openly against these progressive changes, so the other things they voted down were a tax on carbon and a ban on fracking, which if you want to address climate change, you got to do that. Didn't even talk about money and politics. I know they'll say no to that one. So um, it's going to be interesting to see where the convention goes. So it, it I don't want to say it seems like Hillary's going to get indicted, but I've seen a bunch of videos and I, I can't really refute them. Like, you know, H.A. Uh, Goodman, who is way too in bed with Bernie to be, uh, you know, even handed about it. He made some points and I'm just like, wow, yeah, I, I don't know how Hillary's not going to get indicted, but she's still Hillary Clinton. It's hard to imagine her getting indicted. So I don't know where we go from here. Obviously, Bernie's going to take it to the convention. He's going to see how far he can push his platform, maybe even try and... Uh, uh, convince some supers to vote for him. Their vote is still going on. The vote count is still going on in California and counties are flipping. I think there's up to seven counties that have now flipped to Bernie. I think he's gained a couple uh, delegates in that race. Uh, I don't know how far behind he is and if he's going to catch up, but all these things are up in the air. And it, uh, if we thought that a little more time was going to make things clear on what's going to happen at the convention, we were wrong because now things are even more muddied. Have a great day.